calculate time of concentration and storage coefficient within HackHMS. Okay, and there is a calculator in HackHMS, so we will able to calculate time of concentration and storage coefficient. All right. So as we have, but we need to select uh, transform method as a clear unit hydrograph. All right. Then just click on that one. Okay. All right. We have we have this kind of table. We we will see when we will click on uh, click on unit hydrograph. So there's two parameter time of concentration and storage coefficient is required and we can calculate using this calculator. First of all we need to review our characteristic of sub basin. Okay, we will use these two uh, longest flow path length and the longest flow path slope and uh, there will be one method that is for uh, Kirpich method. Okay, so we will calculate this uh, uh, time of concentration and storage coefficient all right so we have okay we need to select this time of concentration uh, column and cal click on calculator and select time of concentration or oh, there is one uh, stats then we'll come to you stats then just as you know uh, the formula of Kirpich there's uh, TC equal to 0 0.0078 into L to the power 0 0.77 and into S to the power minus 0 0.385 this is the slope and this is the length okay length is in meters uh, and what I said will be unitless and uh, time will be comes in uh, sec uh, minutes okay so we have to we have to apply this formula like uh, that is 0 0.0 we need to okay, 0 0.0078 into that is you need to click on power okay then we just need to define you just need to uh, click on longest flow path okay we need to change in meter We need to click then by 1000 and we need to define its power over here that is 0 0.77 then multiply then we need to define longest flow power we need to click on power then need to click on power then just you need to this flow path comma then define minus 0 0.385 its power and it's come in it will come in minutes so we need to change it in hour all right we just need to divide 60 okay we are dividing this all value so will the all value will come in hour okay and click calculate so your value has been calculated you can review your result there there's problem we are facing okay we need to okay we need to copy this formula just copy close okay as you can see our value is there okay we have calculated the time of concentration using Kirby's formula now we need to apply so storage coefficient now you need to find out storage coefficient so there's a formula of storage coefficient as you can see r equal to 13 by 7 into tc okay so we will apply it we will apply it just go to calculator change storage coefficient come to state and uh, as we have go we need to define 13 by 7 if we will be we, we have to go uh, in bracket 13 by 7 
and uh, that is multiplication and paste your formula as you did in that one or okay and click on that one so as you can see your value is over here okay you don't need to find out that uh, time of consideration using any software or any actual formula you can calculate within hex chambers all right and just apply and close okay and and you want to, one thing you can do is you just need to run your model okay so that you can see you are not facing any error okay so we are not facing any error so our model has been run okay as you can see we need to see the graph yeah this is the observer. this one was the observed graph and this is the as you can see this one is black one is observed graph and this is the, the blue one is sub basin 13 outflow right so we need to see the, the summary table okay we are getting 0 0.89 Nash value and uh, there is the uh, RMG value is 0 0.3. So our results is okay, absolutely okay. All right, thank you, thank you so much.